In this video, we will talk about the glaucoma. Looking at the basic structure of the eye, most of the eye is covered by the covering called the sclera, which is a white colored covering and it is a tough covering providing the eye its shape. Inner to it is the choroid, which is a vascular layer providing nourishment to the retina. Retina is the innermost layer on which the light is focused and on this layer the image is formed. On the anterior side of the eye is a bulged out area called the cornea and uh, the cornea and the inner surface of the eyelids are covered by the clear uh, membrane called the conjunctiva. Pupil is the hole in the iris through which the light enters the eye and behind this is the crystalline lens which focuses the light on the retina. This is the iris which is a muscular part and uh, this regulates the amount of uh, light entering the eye by regulating the size of the pupil. This is the anterior chamber which is the space between the iris and the cornea and this is the posterior chamber which is the space between the lens and the iris. Both the anterior and the posterior chambers are filled with the fluid called the aqueous humor. This is the ciliary body and these are the sinule fibers. Together the ciliary body and the sinule fibers change the shape of the lens so that the light is focused on the retina. This is the vitreous filled with the fluid called the vitreous humor. This is the optic disc from where the optic nerve leaves the eye. This is also called as the blind spot because light falling on this point will not form any image. And this is the optic nerve which transmits the signals from the eye to the brain. Now looking at the anterior portion of the eye. There is the cornea, there is the iris and there is the drainage angle which is the angle between the cornea and the iris and in the drainage angle is located the trabecular meshwork. Also there is the canal of Schlem through which the aqueous humor drains and passes into the episcleral vein. Glaucoma is a group of ocular conditions or the eye conditions characterized by the increased IOP or the intraocular pressure. The IOP is the pressure put against the eyeball by the fluids present in it. Due to this increased intraocular pressure, there can be damage to the optic nerve which can compromise the patient's vision and can make the patient blind if not treated uh, timely. There are two types of glaucoma. The first is the open angle glaucoma. This is the most common type of glaucoma and it has the subtle signs and symptoms which makes its detection difficult and uh, the drainage angle in this type of glaucoma is open but there is problem with the trabecular meshwork. As you can see here the angle which is the angle between the cornea and the iris is open and the drainage canals are closed by the trabecular meshwork. The trabecular meshwork may be clogged and result in the obstruction of the drainage canals or the canal of Schlem. Signs and symptoms. There is no pain in open angle glaucoma. The patient doesn't usually feel pain in this type of glaucoma. There is increased intraocular pressure due to the buildup of the extra fluid. Also, there may be optic disc cupping, which is the thinning of the optic disc, and uh, this may be seen as an excavated or the cupped area. Next type is the closed angle or the angle closure glaucoma. It is a very rare condition and uh, the causes include the anatomic deformity or it may be caused due to the use of some medications. As you can see here, the angle between the cornea and the iris has decreased and uh, this results in the blockage of the drainage canals and prevents the aqueous humor from draining out. The signs and symptoms include the severe eye pain, corneal edema due to the extra fluid, red eyes and nausea and vomiting. There are several risk factors which put a person at a high risk of getting the glaucoma. To remember the risk factors, we need to remember the mnemonic SAVE. S stands for 60 or above the persons uh, who are 60 years of age or above are at increased risk of getting the glaucoma. A stands for American, Asian, Hispanic or African ethnicities. Vascular deformities like the diabetes. And uh, E for elevated intraocular pressure. Normally what happens is that the ciliary body produces the aqueous humor and then this aqueous humor uh, passes from the posterior chamber through the pupillary opening into the anterior chamber and heads towards the drainage angles and the trabecular meshwork. Then this fluid passes through the 
uh, canal of Schlamm into the episcleral vein. This is how the aqueous humor is drained out of the eye. Since in both open and closed angle glaucoma, the fluid cannot drain out of the eye, it starts to build up in the eye, putting an extra pressure against the eye structures and particularly the optic nerve. Uh, and this may cause damage to the optic nerve which can compromise a patient's uh, vision. Now how can we diagnose glaucoma? We can use a procedure called the tonometry in which the intraocular pressure is measured. We can use ophthalmoscopy in which an ophthalmoscope is used to look into the eye and to inspect the regions of the eye like the optic nerve. We can also use the central visual field testing in which the uh, visual field of the patient is uh, examined. Now the medical management. The initial target for a patient with glaucoma is to decrease the intraocular pressure by 30% from the current value. The medications used include the beta blockers, the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, alpha adrenergic agonists. All these medications decrease the aqueous humor production, thus decreasing the intraocular pressure. The medications like the cholinergics, also called as the mitotics, and prostaglandin analogs uh, cause the increased outflow of the aqueous humor. These also decrease the intraocular pressure. Now the surgical management. The first is the laser trabeculoplasty in which a laser beam is applied to the inner side of the trabecular meshwork which improves the openings in it and uh, enhances the drainage of the aqueous humor. The next is the peripheral iridotomy. This, uh, in this procedure what happens that uh, an opening is created in the iris so that the fluid from the posterior chamber passes through this opening into the anterior chamber and is drained out. The filtering procedures for glaucoma. In these procedures what happens that uh, an opening or a fistula in the trabecular meshwork is uh, created to drain the aqueous humor from the anterior chamber to the subconjunctual space into a bleb. From this blab, the aqueous humor uh, mixes with the tears and is also absorbed by the blood vessels. Now the nursing management. Educate the patients about the disease process, how it is caused, how it can be managed and all other relevant information about the disease. Because in glaucoma, the complications are common. So we have to aware the patient about the signs of complications to uh, get them treated early. Emphasize adherence to the lifelong therapy because uh, glaucoma is a treatable condition. It is not curable and the patient has to uh, adhere to a lifelong therapy. So the patient uh, should be prepared for it and uh, nurses have to make a role in it. Teach the patients how to use medications, uh, how to instill the drops, how to use the ointments. And also if the patient is using both the drops and the ointment, ask the patient to use the drops first followed by the ointment and also make the patient aware about the side effects of the medications. Thank you, that was all about the glaucoma.